Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. Now I have a different catalog pulled up here because we're just going to show you guys how to fix time sync issues in post production. Now, what is a time sync issue? Basically, whenever you guys are doing a multi camera shoot, if you forget to synchronize the date and time prior to the shoot, then what happens is when you pull all the images in the Lightroom, it's very difficult to do your culling and editing because the images don't line up. So if you have three angles, all the images don't line up based on the time. So you might be editing at one point and then you'll see like the first kiss here and then later on you'll see another first kiss and later on you'll see another first kiss instead of seeing them all in the exact same place. Now when you're shooting with you know several photographers and you get a, a thousands of images in your catalog this becomes a big issue because it takes forever to cull and to find the best image. So what you have to do is you have to fix the timestamp on each camera. Now again, this is obviously easiest done before the shoot, but if you forget, this is how you guys can do it in post-production. So here's what we're going to do. Now on this, we just loaded up 23 images just from one of our recent weddings. Uh, we didn't load up the entire thing just for kind of the ease of this tutorial, but it works the exact same way regardless of how many images you have in your, in your wedding or how many cameras. You just need to follow these steps. So the same principles regardless of the size. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to do first. We're going to identify our lead camera. So typically what I'm going to do is pull up my library filters by hitting backslash. And typically the lead camera is always going to be the one that has the most images. Now, every now and then you'll get a second shooter that's kind of overzealous and they'll shoot more than the lead. So this doesn't, this isn't like a, a rule that's always, you know, this isn't a law. This is a rule of thumb. All right, so you want to select the lead camera and you want to sync all other cameras to that time. Okay, so... For this case, this is actually, I think, the second shooter, and this one up here with six images is actually the third shooter, but for the case of this tutorial, it worked out just fine. We actually had three shooters at this wedding. So here's what we're gonna do. Select the lead shooter camera, and we're gonna find a moment of the day that was easily recognizable across all of the different cameras. You also want that moment to be a time and moment when everybody was shooting simultaneously. Now for a wedding, the easiest one throughout the entire day to pinpoint is the first kiss. All of your shooters should have been shooting the first kiss from different angles and it's very easily recognizable because when I'm flipping through, I can quickly see where it is. So we're just gonna scroll down to our first kiss on our lead camera and it is right here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up that image by double clicking on it and we're gonna check out the timestamp. Now we have right here uh, the timestamp. If you guys don't see the information, just hit I to cycle through until you see the timestamp. So we have at 11.46.09 a.m. is when this image was shot. So what we're gonna do is just jot it down on Notepad. And I just already took that note right here. So 11.46.09, we have it right there in Notepad so we don't forget it. Now we're gonna go back to Lightroom and this is the only tricky part, okay? If you get this part right, it's totally fine and you guys can do this all day long and screw it up as much as you want and still be able to fix it in post-production. Although it is time consuming, so don't screw it up. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go back to grid view by hitting G. Now I'm gonna select the other camera. So in this case, it's the third shooter camera that is not synced. What we're gonna do is select that, go to the exact same moment and select this image. Now selecting this image first makes this our key image. Now I'm gonna hit Control A or Command A on a Mac. Once I do that, it selects all other images that were shot on this camera serial number. Now, the reason why we filter by camera serial number as opposed to camera is because if you filter by camera and pe more than one person was on a 5D Mark II, it all gets sorted into this grouping. So again, if you don't have camera serial number selected, just make your drop down from your filter menu to uh, camera serial number and then select that third shooter camera and there you go. All right, so we're gonna have this image selected and make sure there's no other filters turned on. No other attribute filters, no other metadata filters because otherwise you're not gonna be selecting all the images from that camera. Now at this point, you're gonna hit Control A, Command A on a Mac again. And uh, what happens is with this image selected first, this becomes our key image. It is highlighted and it's brighter than the other ones and that's how we can tell it's our key image. So from here, we're gonna go into our metadata menu up at the top and you do need to be in the library module, by the way, to do this. We're going to go to Edit Capture Time. And now we're going to type in the exact time from that previous image on that lead camera that was shot at this exact same moment. And that time was 11.46.09 a.m. So we put 11.46.09 a.m. and the date was correct. 
and now watch this this says this operation cannot be undone so this is why it's kind of the tricky part because you want to make sure you got this right uh, the first time otherwise you'll have to redo it and none of these can be undone so every time you change it, it it's basically a permanent change until you change it again to something else all right so we're going to hit change all now if we did it correctly when we click on all camera or all two serial camera well, camera serial numbers so we're going to click on all just turn off the filter that's the easiest way to turn off the filter hit backslash so you can see everything I'm going to hit tab so it opens up my thumbnail view again now check this out what it did was it actually adjusts the images that came prior relative to that key image so even though all those images weren't shot at 114609 it adjusted the ones that came prior relatively to whatever adjustment that we made on that key image and as well as the ones that came after so now when we look through our sorting and culling view, we see all of our first uh, KISS images are lined up right next to each other. Now it's easy to pick out the best ones and we can go through and cull our entire event having all the images from every angle shown at the exact same time and the correct moment. Now again, I'm gonna reiterate one more time, obviously this is easiest to fix in camera and I'd recommend you guys do this just prior to you, your event. Sync up your cameras, it takes only a second. It's much harder and longer to do this in post. So if you get it done in camera, you're going to save quite a bit of time. If you forget, it's not the end of the world. Just use this tutorial as a reference and you guys will be fine. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and let's go on to the next tutorial.